NYPD officer Jonathan Diller will be laid to rest in Long Island, New York tomorrow. A second wake will be held later today. President Trump and New York City Mayor Eric Adams attended Thursday's viewing. Diller was killed during a traffic stop on Monday, leaving behind a wife and a young baby. The suspect, Guy Rivera, is charged with murder and is being held without bail. There's an organization dedicated to helping families of fallen first responders, military and veterans. It's called Tunnel to Towers, and they have pledged to pay off Officer Diller's home mortgage. Joining me now is the vice president and retired NYPD detective, John Q. Vane. John, welcome. Good morning. How are you? I am great. Better now that you're on. So Officer Jonathan Diller, as you know, leaves behind his wife, his one-year-old son. This is something yes. a family will never get over. So how does your organization help families like Diller's now and, of course, beyond once the funeral is over? Well, to give you an idea, uh, the foundation was founded uh, on the loss and the murder of uh, Stephen Sola, who died on 9-11. And to put it in perspective, uh, Stephen Sola uh, Sr. had a young boy, Stephen, who was the same age as Ryan. So it sort of hits at home. Uh, but in 2014, we started taking care of our fallen first responders that were killed in the line of duty. And the, the Tunnel Towers started by the Sola family pledge that if you're a military first responder and you go out to serve your community or your nation, that we will pay off your mortgage if you have young children left behind. And this, this officer is a true hero. And a lot of people aren't thinking about what crime did he prevent? We have two career criminals that are sitting in a car parked illegally what were they about to do? So that's the detective in me. And who would have killed? Who would they hurt? Uh, what crime would they have committed? They they were they were ready to do something. And Jonathan is a very was a very active police officer. He had seventy arrests in three years. So he's out there protecting the community, and he lost his life doing that. Now. Now, his wife uh, is actually, you know, this, this is a very young family. And his wife has to raise little Ryan, of course, with the support of her family and the community and the brothers and sisters in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. and it's it's going to, their world is crushed. They were just starting their life together. Yeah. This is so tragic. And John, you mentioned paying off the mortgage, but the organization is also setting up an a scholarship fund for the one-year-old. So I know the family is so appreciative. Both Tunnel yeah. to Towers and Barstool Sports CEO Dave Portnoy have joined forces for the Diller family. How much amazing. have you raised so far, John? It is amazing. Why do you believe Americans have been so compelled to make a donation to help this family? Well, the amount that we raised, I'm unaware. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, teaming up with Boston is amazing. Uh, we have so many great supporters. We, the, the, the beautiful part is this community is getting together. And we're able to pay off last year, think about this, 200 mortgages, over 200 mortgages. And the year before, the same thing of our uh, fallen first responders and military. And that $11 that uh, people donate across the country shows there's a great support to our military and our first responders. And yes, we'll be there. And in fact, tomorrow, some of our recipients will attend the mass and, and a sign of so solidarity that they're part of our program. And you're going through a very difficult time. Stephanie has so many bad days ahead of her, but these other uh, former first responders, uh, spouses will be there to show that we're there to support and things will calm down a little. But mm. the main thing is they don't have to move out of their house. Yeah. That mortgage will be paid off no matter what it costs. Frank Sill made a commitment that Tunnel of Towers would pay this. And, and that's great. And we do a lot of other things with uh, mm. mental health, uh, uh, support, financial guidance, and uh, 
Then we have little gatherings where we bring all first responders, uh, spouses together, yeah. and they, 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 get, they get together. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.